Hey Aquarius, welcome to your bonus reading with Alexander Tarot for August 2022. We're going to see what's going on between you and the person that you're connecting with, the person on your mind and your energy. I'm going to pull your current energy, then I'm going to pull your cards, and then I'm going to pull your challenges at the bottom of the deck. Please stay for the entire read because I will be pulling some advice cards and oracle messages. Okay. Um, thank you to those who have subscribed. Welcome back. If you're new, I already can see that in your connection, someone's resisting. Ooh, because these cards are sticking. Somebody is resisting the, in this connection. Okay. Um, cross watchers are welcome. Those may be reversed. Take what resonates, leave the rest, never force a reading. If these messages are for you, they will be fluid. And if they are, please like, share, subscribe as it helps my new channel grow. This is a new YouTube channel, but I have over a decade of tower reading experience for personal and one-to-one -one readings, okay? So let's get this started. Serious, please show me the cards that I need to see for this love reading for August for Aquarius. Please show me the cards I need to see for Aquarius. Please show me Aquarius. Okay, please show me Aquarius' current energy, please. Okay. Okay. So, Spirits, please show me Aquarius' cards. Your current energy is judgment, by the way. Challenges at the bottom of the deck. So we will get to that. So, Aquarius, your current card that I have is the judgment. Okay. I get your energy right now of is of reconciliation. Um, you've made a decision about something and you decided to forgive. Your your energy is on renewing the connection and reconciliating. All right. So, in the past, I have the Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Page of Pentacles reverse, okay? Um, with this Wheel of Fortune reverse, I get that there was some conflicts in your connection. There were some external forces that might have influenced this conflict, some outside influences that cause a disruption in your connection and cause some setbacks. Um, somebody in this connection is immature with this page of pentacles reverse. Um, they're not putting in the groundwork that's required to maintain this relationship. They, they seem to be irresponsible. Like you don't feel like you can count on this person. There's immature behavior. And again, they're not putting in the work. I get that they're not really committed to this connection. And I know some of you are saying, well, you know, we're together. You know, you could be with somebody and, you know, all the way, you know, and it doesn't mean that they're showing up for the connection the same way that you are. I'm getting that, um, again, that this is brought on by something from the outside, okay? Perhaps energies from family members or exes. You know, that sort of thing is interfering with this connection in the, in the recent past. In the current position, I got the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. You could be connecting with a fire sign. Um, a Gemini, I mean, to, forgive me, <laughs> uh, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But, you know, because Gemini came to me, you could be connecting with a Gemini, okay? Because that popped in. But I'm getting a lot of fire energy, which would explain the stubbornness that I'm getting in the cards. But again, any sign can have, uh, you know, very resistant, stubborn, um, not holding their self-accountable behavior, okay? I'm just telling you what's showing up. Um, but again, it could be any sign, okay? So what I get for the current position with the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands is, you know, a new, I get that some communication came in currently. From this person you know it just was quick spontaneous um 
perhaps offering you, you um, a new beginning. Okay, which which is why I see the reconciliation in your current energy. Um, I get it was really fast and really spontaneous. It could have came in as a text message, um, a phone call, anything of, of that sort. But it's it's making you feel better at the moment. I, I would absolutely say that with the Ace of Wands, new beginning, you know, just feeling excited at the moment. Okay. So in the future position, I have the King of Swords reversed and the Temperance reversed. You could be connecting with a Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. I see why the situation is what it is. It's like right now, currently, you're getting this offer and you're making up. So I'm getting a lot of back and forth, in and out, because the future cards. With this King of Swords, I'm getting someone who's very judgmental, a bit controlling. Someone whose thinking is irrational. Like they lack the structure of, of, a, of a relationship. So they come in with this quick message. It's spontaneous. You know, it has you stirring because you do love this person. And I get, you know, they love you. So, you know, you're like, okay, you know, we just had this terrible period, but it's good again. Okay. So, but I'm getting that there is conflict with this temperance reverse. Somebody is getting frustrated. They're getting very impatient about the disunion of this relationship. Because again, it's an ongoing battle with this temperance reverse. That's in the near future. So um, I have to say Aquarius that do expect that this excitement is going to be short-lived because there's some issues in this relationship that have not been resolved so they keep resurfacing so that's why i got the temperance reverse again that's about excessive conflict and balance um someone who's frustrated with this disunion of this relationship and i have this person again with this king of swords energy who's just very judgmental controlling can be really brutal when it comes to arguing <sighs> Wow, okay, the challenge is at the bottom of the deck is the death and the imp the impress reverse, okay? There's going to be some sort of change, okay? There needs to be a change. There needs to be an end of a cycle and a new beginning. It may even be unexpected, but there has to be some sort of change in this cycle. What I'm getting with Empress Reverse is that energy of someone who's lacking confidence, lacking self-love. So I'm getting low self-esteem is issues and insecurity issues with this person. If this Empress Reverse, this person doesn't realize they are in fact Empress. You know, the Empress is of is everything that you want in a feminine energy of a partner. Okay, it's someone who. Who, who's aware of who they are. They understand, they take care of themselves. They know their worth. They're very independent. They're very loving. But with this reverse, the energy is of, of insecurities. Um, there's a lack of confidence. This person feels neglected. They feel disharmony. They feel empty in this union. So that's why there's a, there's going to be um, some sort of be, an ending and beginning. Your your connection and your relationship is going to be going through a change. Okay. Um, I already said there's going to be some issues coming up in the near future. So your challenge is the fact that you know, do I end this this cycle? of trauma with this person and begin to change into you know something better conducive and your challenge is to work on your worth and your self love you're being called to work on that to remember who you are and what you're worth and to desire and to decide what kind of cycle are you ending and beginning okay um I'm going to pull some advice cards. Spirits, what advice do you have for Aquarius? What advice do you have for Aquarius? Please show me Aquarius. Thank you so much. 
so much I'm truly grateful. Okay. I have the Five of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. For starters, like what I'm getting is rock bottom energy with this Ten of Swords. Just completely feeling defeated in your connection. Um, feeling like someone's playing the victim. You just completely emotionally exhausted. Just feeling like this connection is failing. However, you still want the your wish fulfillment. You're still seeking a wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups. You want to be happy. The advice that I have for you is to release any emotional baggage. Work on that. You need to f focus on your healing and move forward. Accept help. Um, when I say help, it could be friends, it could be a family, it could be um, therapy, it could be someone from your church. Um, any healthy person that you feel can be objective, there may be somebody trying to offer help to you, but you, there's a, there, you're being called, there's a need for healing for you to move forward. You have to release this emotional baggage uh, with no regrets and, and find your peace because that's going to take you to your Nine of Cups. I'm not saying it's going to take you to the Nine of Cups with this person because it takes two to carry a relationship. But, you know, there's going to be some sort of cycle that's going to close out. Remember I said there's a challenge. Your challenge is the death card. There's going to be an end of the cycle. So you have to decide what you want to do. If you want to stay in this energy with this person or release this emotional baggage with no regrets. Because the cards are saying you pretty much did everything that you can and you need to move forward and heal from this. And the Nine of Cups is is a wish fulfillment. You will get what you want. You will get that. There's somebody that can offer you something that, that you know, that is prosperity and abundance. And it will, it will even heighten your self-esteem. You will feel, your self-esteem will be high again because this person dotes on you. This is happiness. As long as you can stay optimistic, but you, you're not in this energy now. Um, you're in the Empress Reverse energy, so that's um, insecurity. So you have to work on your healing because it's like this is a dead end. I hate to have to tell you this, Aquarius, because I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. The, the cups is very emotional cards, especially the, the five of cups. If it was upright, it's a huge emotional loss. But with this, the card, the cups are not necessarily telling you that it's over, but it's telling you that you need to accept help. So if you're gonna stay in this union where you feel rock bottom and you wanna feel the nine of cups, you want that wish fulfillment, then you're gonna have to accept help move forward um, and um, it's going to require a lot of healing, a lot of forgiveness in order for you to maintain this union with this person. Okay, again, you have to accept help. There's help out there for you guys. You have to move forward to it. And then this, it's going to require a lot of healing and forgiveness because there's so much um, emotional baggage that needs to be released in order for this relationship to possibly be a, a wish fulfillment okay if you do not do this then you're going to stay in this ten of swords energy but it's just going to feel like a dead end and it's just going to feel like rock bottom all the time you're just going to feel defeated you're going to feel like just it's just a painful place okay so the thing is with the ten of swords though is once you hit the bottom there's you, know, you can only go up right so that's that death card and you know a end of a cycle and a new beginning Okay, so that's your challenge, but you're going to have to um, seek help.
to get to move to be able to move forward in this situation with no regrets and your partner and you have to be willing to release emotional baggage that is keeping you at this ten of swords okay so I'm going to pull some oracle messages to see what's going on between you and the person thank you Please show me the cards I need to see for the person connecting with Aquarius. I am very attracted to you and I can feel the chemistry building between us. This person is super attracted to you. So I said, I said that there's love. Okay. So I get that when it's good, it's good. You know, there's passion between you guys. You're very turned on by each other when things are going well. I can't open my heart to you because there are wounds from my past that still haven't healed. Here it is. This person is not healed from some things from their past. So it's like they love you at the, the emotional capacity of what they're able to, where they're able to love you. And it sounds like they don't have, they, I can't really explain. There may be some trauma from the past of, that's um, hindering this person's love for you and their capability of loving you in the way that you want to be loved. And, um, I'm pretty sure for all those who are saying, yeah, that's, this is my situation, this is it. They love you but they have some blockages because they are not healed, okay? Spirit's asking me to pull two more cards. I haven't been completely honest with you. Wow. This, there's a need for a very open discussion with this person. A very transparent discussion needs to be had. I dream about you a lot and it always arouses me. So this person is very attracted to you. Like, but there's there's definitely a discussion that needs to take place. They haven't been completely honest with you and they have emotional blockages because of wounds from the past that have healed. Oh man. Um I guess that's it. The only thing I can say is what I've already said to you in the Vice Cards, um, Aquarius. There's a need to heal this connection by accepting help from others, okay? Again, not from, you know, I'm not saying from your friends. I'm saying like an objective person, perhaps a professional. Or like I said, somebody from a church, perhaps. I don't, I, it depends. It's your choice of who you feel you can choose to consult this union. But it desperately needs healing. Again, I feel like there's a lot of love here. But it cannot flourish and will not flourish if this person is unhealed. Okay? Energy can only be transferred. It can't be destroyed. So if someone's in your, in your energy and they're not healed and they bring their trauma to you, then their trauma becomes your trauma. Okay? So the best advice I have for you is to understand that you are worthy, you are worth it, you are the impress, and you don't even realize it. You deserve the love that you want, you deserve the nine of cups that you want, but there's a blockage here that needs to be removed, okay? So you're being called to work on that, if that's what you want. That is all that I have for you, Aquarius, um, for this bonus read for August. Um... Thank you for joining me. If this reading resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, it helps my new channel grow. And I will see you again on the next one. I wish you healing, love, and light.